Good morning, Orlando. So right now we're going to go through a little bit of a myofascial treatment associated with somebody who might have an osteoarthritic knee, or we can actually even use these same kind of techniques for somebody with a patellar tracking disorder. Uh, so we're going to go through some of that soft tissue technique as well as um, some taping techniques associated with that. And we're going to do a little bit of a progressive taping based on how significant the symptoms are and how much relief he gets associated with it. So one of the things that we'll normally see when we have uh, a patient with an osteoarthritic knee coming in is how they're really going to be presenting. Obviously, they're going to have difficulty getting in and out of the chairs. Stairs are usually a problem. And in fact, sometimes when the osteoarthritic knee is so severe, you'll actually see them walk downstairs backwards because they have too much of a time actually lowering themselves down to the steps. So what we're going to do is I'm just going to have you expose. You pick your knee, whichever one you want to do. I actually have a brace on my left, so we'll go. Let's go right. right? No, I'm kidding. <laughs> You're fine. Okay, so we're going to have him actually stand up. Whenever possible, I always like to make sure that we have the patient as active as is humanly possible, mainly because it's going to stimulate more of the neurology associated with the tissues. We're going to apply our emollient over that whole area. There we go. And the idea of what we're doing here is balancing everything associated with the knee. In other words, we're going to take care of his adductors, his quads, his hamstrings, the ITB, gastroc, anterior compartment, patellar retinaculum. We're going to treat around all these structures, and we're going to neurologically reestablish re a proper tone in those tissues. So that means we're going to be using about the weight of the instrument, nothing too aggressive. Once we get that nice red on the skin, we know that we've created a neurologic stimulation because of the vasodilations that's happened on the blood vessels underneath the skin, those superficial capillary beds. It only takes a couple of minutes. Now, obviously, these patients, again, would have had pain initially on something like squatting. So we may have this patient go a little bit into a squat just to try and activate those tissues a little bit more. Remember, how much they're able to do is going to be based on the function of that patient. The older or more significant degeneration that's there, the less they're going to be squatting. And then once we finish giving that nice little neurosensory, getting that nice little hyperemia on the skin, we're going to get into a couple of nook and cranny areas that are also involved associated with this tissue. And for that, we're going to have the patient come offload. We're going to get right into the patellar retinaculum. Now, these structures are the small little ligaments right around the knee that helps control its distance. It's almost like a spring line for a boat, keeping it afloat in the water. So we're going to move that kneecap over using our thumb, take some skin tension with our finger. We're going to come right up underneath that bone. This, this could be a little tender for a patient. It's a little bit more aggressive because it's more of a focal treatment edge. This is actually one of the things I teach patients for self-mobilization when they have that pain that might be like a horseshoe shape around the kneecap or just this general patellar pain or ache behind the kneecap. And then we can come over to this other side and do the same exact thing. Come right around that patellar uh, retinaculum on the medial side. And we'll give a little bit of a gentle, we don't have to be pro-inflammatory here because we're not doing a patellar tendinopathy. So we're just going to come right around that inferior area. Again, taking skin tension up. And right around that superior pole as well. And that in itself usually gives enough of a, almost like a gentle loosening up of the knee. In fact, if he goes into a squat, even though this really wasn't one of his conditions, he'll probably notice that the knee just feels like a little bit easier during movement patterns. So we can have him retest himself on just going into a squat. And, had, and then again, the way that I've always done in my practice is if you have a 10 when your initial provocation test, what is it now? And what we're looking for is, again, a minimum of a 50% reduction in symptoms. When he repeats his test, if it doesn't go to a 50%, I might retreat again to see if there are other areas that I might miss or where his symptoms may have changed to. But then what we'll do is we'll end this with a taping technique. So if we can have a patient, you're going to lie on your back here. Okay. And we're going to do this in stages.
The first thing we're going to do is a basic kinesiology taping method for taking pressure off the patella. Now the interesting thing associated with this is even though all we're really going to be affecting is the patella, it still helps tremendously with osteoarthritic conditions. So we're just going to measure from the tibial tuberosity of the superior pole of the patella. And we're going to cut two of these strips. We're going to attach that first one right down to that patellar, uh, the tib tuberosity. And what we're going to do is come that tape, bring that tape right up along the edge of the patella. And once we get to that edge, we're going to pull it superiorly. You can actually see the skin move. And just lay that down. We're going to do the same thing on the opposite side. Grab that inferior pole, right lateral or medially now. Move the skin again. And just lay that down. So that's our initial tape job that we may do associated with this. We'll have the patient get up again and do their squat, make sure that it feels significantly better. If they're saying, you know, that's good, but it's not as good as when you did your uh, test from the first time, we can add some tabs here and increase our pull a bit. Tabs are going to go right at the inferior pole of the patella. And now we're going to catch those tabs. And just pull it up just like that. There's not really a heavy pull on this tab. It's actually gentle, but it gives a massive neurologic stimulation. And now you can see those little convolutions that will develop in the skin right where that tab was. And then you can have your patient get up and again reproduce their squat test. And based on how it is that they're feeling, we can actually change things around a little bit more. Or again, this is about the highest progression level we'll do associated with an osteoarthritic knee. This is a great one, especially it's so simple to tape yourself. So a lot of the times, other than teaching patients to self-mobilize those retinaculum, we'll also teach them that taping technique so they can go out on their own, uh, especially if they know they're going to be going away on vacation. Uh, it's always interesting. I've, I've had grandmothers say this to me a, a lot, is they said, hey, look, I was actually able to walk around on the boardwalk with my uh, grandkids the whole vacation because of the tape job. So once again, it's nice and rewarding. It's giving your patients independence and it's allowing them to do a lot more functional activities despite the fact that they do have a permanent degenerative state that might be in their knee. And again, uh, they might not necessarily be a candidate for a knee replacement at that time, or they may just be trying to defer time until they can actually um, get the knee replacement done.